For Comedy Hive News, I'm John Alvin. While at Washington, D.C. for upcoming show, Dave Chappelle paid a visit to Capitol Hill on Thursday. There he would meet Delegate Stacey Plaskett, where a spokesperson for Plaskett said, Chappelle is interested in politics and his meeting with members delved into this interest, along with the discussion of current events. A video would capture Chappelle's visit and showed him about to leave, but he is stopped by Trump advocate and Republican Lauren Bobart, who asked for a selfie, along with fellow Republican Paulina Luna. Now here's where things get sideways. While sharing the picture to social media, Bobart would caption just three people who understand that there's only two genders. Of course, Bobart was referring to the controversy surrounding Chappelle's 2021 Netflix special, The Closer, where the comedian came under fire for jokes that some consider transphobic. Bobart herself has gained a reputation for her own stances and opinions when it comes to the LGBTQ community. As soon as the photos were released online, fans would become outraged that Chappelle would seemingly align himself with the two Republican lawmakers. One Twitter user would say, I can guarantee you Chappelle had no clue she was going to caption this the cringe way she did. Another would chime in, y'all are mad that Dave Chappelle stopped and posted for pictures like all celebrities do with fans. Vile and contemptuous fans, sure, but fans and he didn't post the pics they did. Y'all just live to be mad and you don't even care if it makes sense anymore. While one more would say, I think it's really shitty that Bobart and Luna use this can I get a selfie to make it look like a Dave Chappelle endorsement. When this was in fact a celebrity being nice and taking a selfie with what he assumed to be fans. This is why most celebrities tell people no by the way. Because Chappelle was in town that night for a show, according to Newsweek, he would go on to respond to the moment, telling the audience he felt like she tricked him. It's a shame she tricked me. Also, while telling the story, Chappelle would reportedly make references to the night Bobart was asked to leave a musical performance of Beetlejuice for vaping and taking photographs. Footage showed Bobart being groped by a man and her groping him back. During his set on Thursday, Chappelle reportedly said he didn't feel like he could say no to Bobart's picture request in this politically divided time and was blindsided by her tweet implying that he understood that there were two genders. According to the Hill newsletter, a spokesperson for Bobart said that she ran into the comedian, said hi, and got a pic. In addition, the spokesperson made note that Bobart is a fan of Chappelle's work, calling him undoubtedly one of the greatest comedians of all time. As a native of Washington, D.C., Chappelle said he usually stops by when in town because he grew up with a lot of the people that now work at the Capitol. I, you know, I'm from D.C., so as you know, the government is one of the big town businesses. So a lot of people I grew up with work on the Hill, so I hang out here sometimes. Do you su support anybody in particular, or did you come here for a particular cause? Well, I'll tell you what I didn't come to do. <laughs> now, if you can recall, there was a similar incident back in July when Ice Cube took a photo with Robert Kennedy Jr. in which he would make sure that people knew he wasn't making any type of endorsement. So let's talk about it more in the comments below. And for more news and comedy, be sure to subscribe here to our YouTube channel and follow Comedy Hype across all social media. For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Oppen.